can you show how you set up the chart every day before we start trade? So basically, I look at the bigger time frames first and then I move on to the lower time frames, right? So I start from the bigger time frames like weekly or daily as a bigger time frame and I move down to the lower time frames for further confirmation. And when it comes to taking trades, I look at 15 minute chart or 5 minute chart. And in that, I look at the direction of the Kumo and also direction of the Kijun Sen and also the location of the Chikou Span. In this 15 minute chart of gold, because this is what I'm buying right now, when you look at all these five lines right now, I will take Tenkan Sen as blue, Kijun Sen as green, and Chikou Span as yellow. Okay, so when you look at the five lines right now, <clears throat> right now it's kind of interacting with each other, right? This is not really reliable. The Kumo is only moving up a little bit, whereas this way but the other like uh, three lines are kind of interacting with each other in this case i won't look at the other three lines and when i was buying it i didn't look at these three lines basically so after that when if the price actually keeps moving up that means kumo will be first start to move up and then what's gonna happen next is i look at the kijun sen here the green one is the kijun sen right the kijun sen now start to move up and then tenkan sen should be moving up too and the last part will be chikou span will be breaking the recent high upwards and that will be a start of bull trend and so that's what i'm looking for right now that's what i'm expecting the market it to be uh, moving up like that. So there are orders right now the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are kind of dead crossing right now. It's kind of dead cross. So I am looking for Kijun Sen to be moving up first and then as it follows the Tenkan Sen will be gold cross here right. While the Kumo is moving up this is exactly where the next buy point. So when you look at this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen and when you take trades you know, for some people like when the Kijun Sen is moving down like this you take buy right like um so what I'm saying is that when the Kijun Sen is right now it's slightly moving up but let's say when the Kijun Sen is moving down Tenkan Sen is gonna break it upwards to be gold cross here people think it's a buy point but actually this is not to be careful for that when Kijun Sen is moving horizontal or moving down that gold cross doesn't mean anything to become the higher probability you have to look for where the Kijun Sen is moving up. Kijun Sen have to be moving up when you're looking for buy and then Tenkan Sen should be gold cross. This is where exactly to buy and at that time Kumo should be moving up like this. Using Ichimoku how to enter exactly? How do you know where you are wrong? You have to always follow the trend and that's the golden rule first. First golden rule is follow the Kumo's direction especially when you see like multiple time frames on Kumo you have to follow the direction of the Kumo and then you can be right. No matter where you buy you can be right but to increase the probability you can uh, look for again like uh, when the Kijun Sen is moving up then Tenkan Sen move up gold cross this is where you have to buy. When the Kumo is moving up never look for a buy chance when the Kijun Sen is moving down and gold cross right. When the Kijun Sen is moving down and gold cross and it doesn't mean anything right. Well actually it means something but uh, the probability of winning will be decreased. So ideally the Kijun Sen should be moving up when it's uptrend and then Tenkan Sen should be gold crossed here. Then you can avoid the fakes. And then later, right, uh, Chikou Span will be, so this is the buy chance, Chikou Span will be breaking this recent high upwards, right? When the market keeps moving up like this, then Chikou Span will be breaking upwards at some point. And this is another buy point. But at this place, the Kumo should be keep moving up. The Kumo should be moving up and also Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen should be gold crossed, right, gold crossed. And then if the Chikou Span breaks it, breaks the recent high uppers, this can be the buy chance. Well, actually, technically, you know, Chikou Span is 26 candles before, so the market will be like right here. The real buy point will be right here. So this is something that you can expect for buy. So this is the first buy chance and this is the second buy chance when the Kumo is moving up. But never look for buy when the Kijun Sen is moving down, okay? That's like a basic rule. 